And now we come to indeed a special guest, the beautiful, the talented, the gracious motion picture actress who is currently co-starring in Universal's movie thriller, Midnight Lace. Here is Miss Myrna Loy. Myrna, it's so nice to have you with us. Oh, it's good to see you. I tell you, you know, I, I, I am well aware of your wonderful performances in some of the more recent movies, but I must tell you that my favorites have always been the ones that you did, The Thin Man, the ones with Bill Powell, in which you were known as the perfect wife. Oh, that again, yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, I appreciate it, Gary, but I really don't like to be remembered as the perfect wife. Well, now, I think every man in the whole wide world wants his wife to be the perfect wife, right, gentlemen? It was a fraud. Don't you want to be the perfect wife? I disagree with you, because I don't think any man wants his wife to be perfect, and I don't think if she were, he would know it. How about that, ladies? Well, there seems to be a rather vast divergence of opinion here. So, uh, uh, do you think this can be settled in some way? Some of you can so. settle the argument? All right. How do you propose to go so. about it? Well, now, the other day, you gave me a list of attributes. Uh -huh. of what you thought a perfect wife should be. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't remember them. Well, you want me to tell you again? Yes. All right, here's what I think a perfect wife should be. Do you want a pencil? Please. You write it down? Thank you. All right, the perfect wife should be intelligent. All right, she should be intelligent. She should be a good housekeeper. By that, I mean she should keep things neat and tidy. A perfect wife should be intelligent and neat. She should have a good sense of humor, uh, be cheerful at all times. She should be cheerful at all times. All times, yes. Cheerful. Now, above all, I do believe that she should be affectionate. Affectionate. Yes. All right. So what's the summary? Uh, the summary is she should be intelligent, neat, Cheerful and affectionate. Mm hmm Well, now, this is the same list you gave me the other day. Right. So, I think I can prove you're wrong. Well, how are you going to do that? Well, I gave the list to Bess and Betsy, and they're in on this with me. Oh, they're in cahoots. They know what your secret is. Yes. All right. So, the secret is going to be that Bess and Betsy, who know about this, are going to play the perfect wife in the game. Very good. Now, while the questioning is on, in other words, the girls will demonstrate the attributes of the perfect wife. Intelligence, neatness, cheerfulness, and affection. And Henry and Bill do not know anything about the secret. No, they do not know. All right. The boys are going to appreciate it, I promise you. Now, uh, will you send the panel back in, please? Because this, I promise you, is the American ideal. These four individual mm -hmm. items that we mentioned well, we'll are the things see. that every man insists upon <laughs> if he is to have the <clears throat> perfect... Hello Hi. there, panel. Hello. Now, panel, the clues. Ow. I hit my finger. You hit your finger? I'm sorry. <laughs> the clue to Myrna Loy's secret concerns something that will be happening, and Bess Meyerson will start with you. Uh, Miss Loy, is our uh, esteemed moderator, Gary Moore, included in your secret? I'm afraid I can't answer that question with a categorical yes or no. Uh, would you please be more explicit about the word involve, semantically speaking? Well... <clears throat> Troublemaker, eh? <laughs> uh, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Uh, will Gary's participation exceed the, the machinations that took place during our absence, or will he, uh, will he function um, as he usually does, as a, as a normal catalyst in his role as moderator? The latter is more accurate. Um, now, uh, may, may I inquire, uh, that's good, let's see now. May I inquire, Miss Loy, uh, is your secret consistent with Gary's proclivity to involve... <laughs> To, to, to involve the panel beyond our normal function as, as interrogators? The answer is yes. Yes. Good. All right. Now, now uh, are we likely to um, 
well, to find our involvement pleasurable from a pragmatic point of view. <laughs> well, based upon my empirical observations of this panel in the past, I would say the answer is yes. All right, there's twenty dollars down, sixty dollars to go. When they go, please, to Bill Thumb. <laughs> Buddy. I pass. <laughs> I understand now, uh, now the, the spot just before this with Angel or Annie set this up, everyone's speaking French and I don't speak French. <laughs> it's not quite French that we spoke. Can I ask plain questions like I always do? Certainly, would. Having established for me nothing, Miss Lloyd, may I ask if this thing you're going to do is it going to be nice? <laughs> that depends. Now, see, I got a reasonable answer. You see that? If you don't, if you don't start off with her, she's all right. Uh, <laughs> is it, Miss Loy, a physical thing? Physical? Mm. No, I think it's probably more um, a mental, an abstract. Mm. Yes. See, Bess, I'm getting much better answers than you draw. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing with my tablet? Um, all right, and so we now go, please, to uh, Betsy Palmer. <laughs> Um, let's see, Miss Loy, uh, is this something that you're enjoying, going to be enjoy enjoying very much? <laughs> What's wrong with my Betsy we, do, Betsy, we don't have too much time left, so if you kind no, of settle down. I am, I'm settling. Is this something, um... <laughs> well, Betsy, in the interest of time, no. if you will forgive us, we'll buzz no. the buzzer oh, and we'll go right. on, please, to Henry Morgan. <laughs> I have no questions, Miss Lloyd. I just have one brief statement. You are absolutely, I mean this very seriously, you to me are one of the most attractive women who ever lived. Wow. It's I'll never, I'll never get a pass this. What are you bothering me? I'm talking to a woman. This happens to be, you don't do that. Buzz, 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 quick, buzz, buzz, buzz. Henry and Bill, you have let down every red-blooded American male tonight Absolutely. by your conduct. I'm glad I did it. Well, I did. well, Betsy and Bess were in on this secret. They were in cahoots with Myrna Loy by previous arrangement. The idea is that Miss Loy has always been known as the perfect wife. I said my idea of the perfect wife was a woman who was intelligent, neat, affectionate, and cheerful. Now, Bess and Betsy exercise all of those moods tonight. They did? <laughs> and do you know when, when, when Beth began to use a rather a more lofty concept of the language that she normally does, you looked at her like she was some kind of a nut. Well, she didn't sound intelligent. She sounded like a trained dog or something. <laughs> and Bill, while, while you were asking questions, Betsy was, was straightening your handkerchief and all you said was, what are you doing with my pad? <laughs> Betsy was her usually cheerful self, only even more so. And when Bess was making love to you, you said, Miss Law, you're the most attractive woman I ever met in my life. That's true. Um, you see, now this doesn't just prove... What? It proves you're right, I guess. Thank you ever so much, Myrna Law, for being with us tonight. And friends, we'll see you next week. Uh. Miss Myers is down by Cameo. Hi, this is Robert Sterling tempting you with the Yum Yum Girl, a delightful steel hour comedy with Ann Francis and myself next on most of these stations.